All right, so I'm sitting at currently sitting at 63 percent using 248 49 watts, bringing 4.75 amp out the batteries. If you see, I have 252 amp hours in it. So I just bought a Tesla Monday, and what I'm about to do is I'm about to charge my Tesla on my off-grid system on these this 20 kilowatt battery so i'm gonna move this inverter over on top of these batteries and then i got this wire temporarily hooked up because i just want to see how it works so i'm gonna run my i mean i'm gonna charge my tesla off of the 220 on this 15 kilowatt hour inverter so I'll hit y'all when I move everything because I just don't feel like recording everything. So I'm going to move, like I said, this inverter over here to these batteries. I'm going to sit it on top and I'm going to try and charge my Tesla, my brand new Tesla, off of my off-grid system. So I want y'all to see this, you know, and how it really works, how many amps is going to pull out and everything. I'm going to show y'all once I get everything working. So I'll hit y'all back. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so I'm back and I went outside and plugged up my car. And it's, I'm sitting at 50.9 volts, 249 amp hours, 62%. And it's bringing out 161 amps, 8.2 kilowatts, pulling 8.2 kilowatts. That's what my car is pulling. And I'm just, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna see what it's charging it. So it's it's using well six hundred, I mean six thousand seven hundred and thirty-one watts. That's how much that car is pulling, which is pulling a lot of power. Cause it's saying that my battery will drain in one hour and thirty-four minutes. So that's a lot of power. I mean that's a lot of power. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna see what the core is actually using. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Let me go outside and I'll let y'all know. All right, so we outside and as y'all can see, the core is actually charging. And that is a, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's actually a, a 50 amp charge. Let's see what the uh, core is charging at. So, reduce charge rate. So, it's say that my car be charged in five hours using six kilowatts. But it's asking me to reduce charge rate. So, let's reduce it down to 20 amps. Okay, so. All right, so if y'all can see, we're bringing in five kilowatts using 20 amps, bring it down a little bit. And it's telling me, check for an extension cord, something wrong. Maybe it's because the small wire that was used that is telling me to, to, you know, check the cord. Maybe I, used to, maybe I need to use a thicker wire. That's probably why it's telling me to uh, check for extension cord. Cause I'm not using the extension cord I showed y'all that was running directly to that socket. So I'ma check that. And it's charging at 227 volts, 28 volts, which is pretty good. It's not bad, but the problem is that the battery. So what I'ma do is I'm gonna buy two more of the Gill batteries and that'll put me at 30 kilowatts and I'm gonna have to make sure that my batteries, batteries are always topped off if I'm gonna be running my Tesla, well, charging my Tesla at night because I definitely don't wanna run my uh, batteries down charging a car. Now, it, it can work. I'm not saying it can't. I can reduce the amps down, you know. Let's see, cause we haven't really. Let's reduce it down to like 50. 15 and let's see what the car charge at then eight hours so it'll take eight hours to charge if we reduce it down to three kilowatt 
three kilowatt hours. But like I said, I think it's the cord because the cord is a little, it's a little small. So I'm guessing that's what this error code is. Cause I don't know if it's actually charging. I mean, it could be, maybe not. But now I went up to nine hours and 20 minutes. Once I set the current, I mean, the amps down. So let's go back up to 30 amps. That's all it's allowing us to do is 30 amps. And you see how it go down if we charge it 30 amps. But 30 amps would definitely run my battery, drain my battery down, which I don't want to happen, but we'll see. Let me go back in the house and I'll, I'll show y'all. All right, so I'm back and y'all hear these fans is working. That's because it's bringing out 5.5 kilowatts, 100 amps. That car is pulling, 100 amps. Well, it's probably not just the car. But nah, it's just a call. I'm sorry, I have the house hooked up to the six kilowatt hour battery right now. The house is using 209, and that's on these Chevy Volt 6K. That's right here, and that's sitting at 25.2, 91%. So all I'm doing is charging the car off of the four gill battery to 20 kilowatts. And it'll say, it'll say my battery go dead in two hours, nine minutes. If it keeps charging at 5.5 kilowatts, bringing 100 amps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boost up my battery capacity and I'm gonna boost up my solar panels. That way I have enough to charge the car every night when I come home. So yep, this is me charging the Tesla Model S off of an off-grid system. Using 4,500 watts, so that's why this fan, these fans kick on and they are screaming because we're pulling out five kilowatts out of the battery, 100 amps. So I'm gonna go and let the car charge because the car it needs to charge so I can have another time. I mean, another charge to go to work in the morning, which I will. I'm only 60 miles away from my dog. And the uh, battery is sitting at almost a little over half. So I definitely can go to work and come home without having to charge the car. And the, the most important thing about me buying that Tesla, I bought the Tesla Monday. And the most important thing was I never came out of my pocket. I mean, went into my pocket on my wallet and pulled out money for gas. So I went a whole week from Monday to Friday. And I'm going to do it Saturday and Sunday without paying anything on gas. Gas prices are shooting up in Texas. In some places it's $3. It's $230, $240, and stuff like that. So that's great that I haven't came out of my pocket none this week since I bought that Tesla Monday. I haven't came out of my pocket for any gas. Back and forth driving in the Tesla to work and I save tons of money. When I say a ton of money, I, a lot of money, I say a lot of money because I was paying $62 every three days riding in my trip. You do the math on that, and you'll see how much money I spend weekly on gas driving from the country all the way to the city. So like I say, I'm going to keep y'all updated, and I'm going to let this video, I mean, I'm going to let that battery charge my car because I need it to be charged if I don't really need it to, but I want it to be charged in the morning, and I want to see how many watts or how long this actually going to bring the battery. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I got more videos coming with me doing the, you know, running my Tesla off-grid on my off-grid system. Like I said, I'm going to add two more gear batteries that'll put me in 30 kilowatts. And I know that's going to definitely be enough capacity to charge my car, run my house, run my wheel pump, and everything. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.